Howdy, Felix. Hey, hey. What's new? Oh, no, not much. About you. I don't know. Oh. Just went and got a haircut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, went to the post office. All right. Okay. So, uh, maybe you did or maybe you didn't get Martini a new toy. Yeah, I got a button. Hey, everybody. Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Hmm? Me? I'm pretty good. Let's see, where were we? The last video we were leaving Flagstaff, getting uh, Frank and Tammy's big old bus down to lower elevation so Frank could breathe a little bit easier. Uh, spent some time with Phil and his wife, JC Travel Stories from YouTube, Jerry and Miss Lynn, Felix. So we have moved down to the Cottonwood area in Arizona. Um, not only can my friend breathe better, he's like 15 minutes round trip to the hospital and back for his, he has to have daily uh, antibiotic infusion. He had a heart valve replaced, but he had a real bad infection on his heart. So, glad to report that uh, my buddy Frank talked to him last night. We sat out here. Uh, in the chairs and stuff last night. He says, Kevin, he said, I can feel that I'm healing. So he's slowly getting the strength back. But, uh, gosh, where to begin? It, wa it wasn't raining um, in Flagstaff when we left. But as we headed down here, we got in the downpour of downpours and all of this area out here it just turned to <clears throat> i don't know if i have any clips to show the water standing but i think it was one of the worst moves i've ever experienced yeah give you an idea here's frank and tammy's coach they're riker uh, they're at the doctor today, but you can see where they pulled in here and uh, <clears throat> just the mud and the clay. He originally was parked here, but uh, he had a little bit too much. Uh, his nose was down too far on his bus to get level, so we recently moved him there when the ground dried up. Oh, what a mess. I was originally here. I moved down. Because as always, I always put my garage door right in front of a bush. I got tired of not being able to get in and out. Miss Gypsy sitting up there. She's in a good spot. <coughs> what else? Got the awning out. Something that uh, I rarely do. Cloth awning and uh, electric, electric, uh, electric awning on top of that. Uh, Never leave, never leave your awning unattended in Arizona. Never, ever, ever, ever. Because it could change in, in a second. I've got my Renogy 200 watt solar suitcase out. Um, I bought it years ago and put it up. I hadn't been using it. But uh, I'm gonna have the solar hooked up here in a few days. I got in touch with one of my buddies. He'll be here in a few days to hook it up, but uh, too far to plug into Felix. So I got this thing out. I'm charging two 100 amp batteries, uh, deep cycle. Pulling into 14.2 volts. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. But my factory batteries, I replaced them six months ago. They're already starting to fail. So I'm going to make do with what I got 
and sooner than later I'll have those uh, Battleborn, those six big blue beautiful Battleborn batteries be working for us. Tucker, you like it here? Man, man, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I, I like having the awning for shade and stuff. Where did everybody else go? Let's see. Martini Land, don't go too far. I, I had to pee. Where's your sister at? I I'm right here. I'm right here. We can't forget that baby, May May. You know, she don't get near the airtime the other babies get. But she's just as special and just as important. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Good baby. Felix went and got these babies a new toy. It's like every time he goes to Walmart or the grocery store, he'll get them a new toy. Let me introduce you to Mr. Chicken. Baka baka. Baka baka. And Tucker and Martini have been fighting over it. Baka baka. Now I know a Mr. Chicken should be a rooster and this looks like a hen, but it got that name before I thought about it. Whoops. I got some video of the babies playing with it. Maybe I'll put that in somewhere about here. Is it time doing that thing? No, I'm trying to get it. There you go. <laughs> her veterinarian in Kingman said her tongue was too big for her head. <laughs> I like that chicken. Woo. Let me get it. You can let me get it. Let me get it. <laughs> Man, squeeze, squeeze it again. I like the noise it makes. You ready? Baka baka. Baka baka. Man. Felix, if, if you're watching this, I want, I want to thank you and stuff. You all right? You know what? You know what, Tucker? I bet he, I bet he will watch this. I got a good feeling. So y'all, I messed up. I broke a rule, and it's going to cost me big money, big money. You know, I told you we come in here, and it was raining. Yeah. So we all come up this uh, this road right here, and this was like a river. I mean, literally, you couldn't see anything dry. This was a river. We pulled all the RVs up here. Uh, Phil driving Frank's bus, he had to back it back down because it only got worse up there. Felix and I, we made it up to the top and barely got turned around to come back down to this campsite here. We figured we better get close to pavement as we could. Well, when I was up there, I got out. I went out the side door to see if I could get through the mud. And when I came back in, I was wet and in a hurry and it was raining and I shut my door. Let me clarify. I thought I shut the side door. You know, always say, shut your side door and lock it. That way it won't fly open. 99 times out of 100, my door shuts. But every now and then, it, does, it shuts, but it doesn't latch. So, people starting to shoot up here. So, I started driving back through here on the incline. My door came open. When this door came open, the steps came down. When the steps came down, it drug off this uh, step uh, support I have under here. All of these uh, uh, fasteners, my mind ain't working, broke loose. My steps, since I was headed this direction, 
they got caught and they were bent they bent back this way make matters worse it broke it loose from my floor under here it sheared off bolts on the steps but hold on but wait there's more <laughs> I got a brand new motor under here uh, I saw it when I bought it brand new motor I stripped out the gears and it's got a like a little motherboard under here I shorted out the motherboard um, had to have a mobile RV tech come in and he wired me up a uh, he wired me up an emergency way to open and shut my my stairs I got the stairs bent right so they got to come back in they got to reinforce my floor they got to put on a brand new motor and, mo uh, and board all to the tune of over 600 bucks ouch why this why this happened because I broke one of my own rules I got in a hurry and I didn't lock the door. The door came open, that's what happened. Uh, what do you do? You fix it, it's what you do. You hopefully learn from it, that's what you do. And it, it makes me feel just a little bit better. I'll, yeah, I share the good and the bad on here. Uh, If I could share my good and I could share the mistakes, maybe we all can learn something, right? I don't know it all. But what's bad is to make a mistake and know better. But I, I was soaking wet. Shirt was wet, pants were wet, socks were wet, underwear was wet. I was totally drenched. I was in a hurry. But we had all these RVs down here in a really bad situation. We all got out, we all got safe, and I was the only one that got damaged. And I'm thankful for that, that I was the only one. And um, so, yeah, RV Tech, he'll be out in a day or two. We had to order the parts. And uh, the parts are what's so expensive. His labor is quite reasonable. As you can see, I got both the motorcycles out. There's an idiot that reports on... Uh, he calls it reporting on us RVers that are on YouTube. And he says, I went and got a motorcycle because uh, someone else in our community went and got a motorcycle. Facts don't matter. It's whatever he decides is news is what he makes up. I got this thing, what, a month and a half ago? And uh, this motorcycle here, the KLR, just happened, uh, me and this other person just happened to text each other and we were buying a motorcycle at the same time. We didn't know each other was buying one. But if you want to go first, I got that first. I'm not in any competition with anybody but myself. Freaking idiot. Useless. Anyway, KLR is, I'm enjoying it. I'm really, really liking it. Like I said, I should have never asked the original owner if it had a name, but it did. And uh, I told you in the last video, I'd tell you what it was. And a lot of you guessed it. The KLR, he called it Killer. I said, is it a boy or a girl? He said, huh, never really thought about it. So I think it's a boy. I don't know. Now I could change the name. I could. But I think instead of changing it, I'm going to modify it. And I was like, killer, is that to kill somebody else or kill yourself on it? He just laughed. Um, so I'm going to tweak the name just a little bit. I'll tell you what it is. I got my temporary tag on it. Buying this thing out of state has been a nightmare to try to get my t tag and title. They had to send me another temporary. But, uh... You see the first two? That's an M and a zero or an M and an O. I like that sticker. So, you know, if people say, oh, that's silly naming your vehicles and your motorcycles. It's not silly to me. 
it's fun. So the new name of the Kawasaki KLR650 is Killer Mo. <laughs> Killer Mo. My uh, tank bag from the Monkey fits absolutely perfect on the KLR. I'll be switching them back and forth. I ordered a set of panniers, uh, metal ones. We got the medium tusk, T-U-S-K, metal ones in black. That way I can take off my laundry. I can get groceries on it. Uh, got a skid plate coming. And I ordered a new windshield. What else, what else? This windshield's too short. The wind comes up, it hits me right up under my helmet. It tries to pull my helmet off. Not bad, but it's enough to irritate me. And I uh, got a set of aftermarket mirrors coming. A nice set of aftermarket, it's the same price as just getting one of the factories. So, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Put a few miles on it. This Sedona and Cottonwood area is a dual sporter's paradise. Uh, I've been riding around and I found some wineries, farms, just beautiful, beautiful campsites, just extraordinary campsites. We, we can't all fit, but I might could squeeze in there if I ever come back this way myself. But uh, not that this isn't beautiful, it's just a little closer to the road than what I'd like. But we've had some sunsets here. Let me tell you what, I've got some pictures of Felix's uh, Miss Gypsy right here with the sunset behind her. And I took one last night. I think it might be one of my most favorite shots I ever took. It's uh, a profile of uh, Felix with Miss Gypsy. Sure, sure is good. But here are a couple pictures of camp and stuff during the sunset. <laughs> Felix has started him a, uh, a Patreon. I'll put the link here or here. Uh, he's just now getting started. He's taking pictures and he's putting together stuff on there. Extra content. Extra content for people that, that want to see extra content. And, uh, you know, help him out with his channel a little bit. Please join his Patreon. It would help him a lot and I'd appreciate it a bunch. In fact, if you're not a member of my Patreon, please join. I'm not e-begging. It's extra content. So it's a little, ex little tiny bit of money for extra content. It goes a long way keeping us on the road and keeping videos made, made for you. Yeah, yeah man, that, that's not e-begging at all. I don't like that word. It's a nasty word. You, 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 let, you, do, uh, you do pictures and, pic and, and blogs. And, and and people get early release of your videos. That's right, Tuck. We got a nice community over there. Five, six hundred people already. One more wouldn't hurt. You got that right. All right. Well, that makes today's video. Well, this sucker might be 25 minutes long. That's okay. Short ones, long ones, it's all good. I got something to say. Got a little bit to tell. But, uh... I think I'll end this video where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. And as always, I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, He's my Savior. Oh, I went and got me a professional haircut. What you think? Yeah? No? Let me know in the comments below. I just been shaving it off myself.
the last year or two. Okay, gotta go, gotta run. Got things to do, people to see, places to go. Bye. Martini Lynn, have you taken up smoking? You taking up smoking? What have you done? Daddy, it's not a cigarette. Well, what is it? It's a pretzel. Looks like you're smoking. <laughs> Baby May May, is that funny? She looks stupid. Can I have a smoke? I mean a pretzel.